Okay, so let's go a little bit further. We're in Exodus 24, and today verses 9, 10, and 11. Here's the reading. Then Moses went up with Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel. And they saw the God of Israel, and under his feet there appeared a, to be a pavement of sapphire as clear as the sky itself. Yet he did not stretch out his hand against the nobles of the sons of Israel, and they saw God, and they ate and drank. So you'll remember that many other occasions in the Bible, people think, what? If I see God, I'm going to die. The ones that are designated, they see God, and they do not die. And so that's this text is pointing that out, is making it very clear to us. God wanted them to come. God called them up into the mountain. And these people actually see uh, God, but they do not die. Now, another thing that's kind of interesting here is, where's the description of God? <laughs> There's not really any description here. Now, we get the, uh, the pavement. It's something like sapphire and the pavement underneath his feet. So they must have seen something. They saw God in some way, uh, whether it's, is it a fuzzy image or did they see him explicitly, but they simply did not tell us what they saw. Because again, in the Bible, it's God doesn't want to be represented. He doesn't want to be represented by eagles or dolphins or any other thing. He, he wants to be, we're not to make images of him. And they here do not give us a picture, but we know that 74 people saw him in this particular scenario. They saw the God of heaven, but we are not given any description whatsoever. So it's a special thing, but here we'd see that God can be seen and you will not die. God wants us in the kingdom. He wants us with him, but it's a delicate thing. We would lose reverence perhaps for him if we just randomly began describing him. So the scripture is very careful, and there's a signal for us in that that we should be very careful how we use God's name how we describe God, how we portray him. So Moses is the only one that goes up. So the others kind of get a foretaste. Moses gets the taste. <laughs> uh, they eat and drink with God here, which is what you do when you make a covenant. Uh, you make the agreement, and then when it's all over, you kind of have a time where you're all eating to, and drinking together. This is kind of like becoming family. God here invites humans to be part of his family, and then he invites them to have a meal with him. So we commemorate some of that with our communion service. Uh, but it's interesting here how God is inviting them. And now they sit down and they have a meal together, them with God. Very interesting business. See you tomorrow morning.